Hey Pisces, this is your reading for February, mid-February going into mid-March. Let's go ahead and see what your angel numbers are. Pisces, if you resonate with this angel number, uh, leave it down in the comments what this number means to you. Um, you can also Google this number and let us know how this angel number resonates with you in your life. Okay. All right, Pisces. You guys have... 1981 here okay the universal spiritual law of cause and effect spirit is saying here pisces your natural light working skills and talents are much needed by the world and it is time to fully live your passions and soul purpose as this will bring more light and love into your own life as well as a life lives of those whom you serve pay attention to your repetitive thoughts that's always a challenge for me but pay attention to your repetitive thoughts and ideas as they are revealing the answers to your prayers and are giving you intuitive guidance in regards to the next steps to take along your life path 1981 this angel number encourages you to create how you want your life to be definitely even when you fear change or fear stepping into the unknown uh, here, Spirit definitely wants you to have faith that things will work in your favor. Keep the highest energy uh, that you can. Set your intentions, um, positive intentions uh, for the future here and the current moment. You have 1212 that is coming in towards you here, Pisces. You are manifesting your dreams by the power of thought okay wishes are like seeds that provide the fuel that propels action your thoughts and feelings create your life so your actions are always directed towards making your thoughts a reality but if your thoughts and actions are out of alignment your desires cannot be fulfilled so pay attention to your thoughts okay to the power of your thoughts and also the power of your words okay don't Put a spell on yourself, okay? We tend to do that. We curse ourselves with our words here, okay? The words hold power as well. Let's take a look at your overall energy here, Pisces. What is the energy here for Pisces spirit? What would you like Pisces to know? Pisces, you guys have the two of pentacles. I see you trying to juggle a lot. You guys may be working a lot here, okay? On yourself and uh, with your family, on your job, on your projects here. Two of Pentacles. You have the Eight of Cups here. I feel like you guys want to leave some things behind because you want to do some new stuff. Definitely here with the King of Pentacles. Uh, King of Pentacles, though, is letting me know that you guys may have planned in advance to do some things here. There is just need to get organized at this moment here. Uh, Pisces so um, there may have been a change in your priorities you guys may be thinking about wanting to relocate or move I know I felt that way myself uh, even though I just got here <laughs> in this state and I kind of feel like I want to do something new but that's the Pisces way we all we we like change okay um, but I definitely feel like there's going to uh, need to be some organizing done or some planning done um, or you paying attention to um, your priorities before you can make a move or do something here it's a lot of grounded energy earth energy on the table here so far with the king of pentacles and the two of pentacles here um, there may be I feel like there may have been here because this is past energy for you guys not far off past energy um, not so distant um, past here energy so I, I feel like there may have been some um, delays or stumbling blocks here in your life that has keeping you away from what you're truly desiring to do uh, what you're trying to go after because the eight of cups is all also about moving towards greener pastures or you having this insane feeling that you need to move on to something new here okay some of you guys want to make big life changes for yourself 
and that may re uh, require you to get some things in order before you can actually make this move here to be grounded like the king of pentacles to so possibly get your finances together first here okay make sure you are financially secure um, and so that you can be successful when you do make these grand moves here okay I don't feel like it's any negative energy the only thing is is with the two of pentacles that's coming in here uh, you have this need here that spirit is trying to make you aware of um and balancing your life or balancing your projects or balancing your checkbook okay since we're talking about pe pentacles balancing your money make sure you're not spending it all over the place here okay pisces so keep that in mind here okay maybe you guys need a um savings plan before you can really take steps uh forward whether this is moving or moving on to a new job make sure you have that set up first or starting a um a business for yourself or doing something here that is going to uh ultimately find naturally grow uh, your wealth here okay there needs to be a lot of planning and and further thinking into how to make this happen before you actually get up and just make uh or choose to make some big life changes here okay so you have in the current moment the seven of cups here coming in and you also have the justice card that is coming in again we're talking about balancing you guys needing to balance yourself out some of you guys need to balance your mind here as well you need to get your mind in order you need to plant uh, good seeds like your 1212 angel number is saying here um, wishes are like seeds that provide the fuel that propels action okay um, your thoughts and feelings create your life here keep that in mind so I definitely feel like uh, with the seven of cups here you guys may have a lot of options here uh, in regards to how you can handle a situation or how you can move forward here and I, I definitely feel that the universe is wanting you to make a decision maybe you guys have put things off uh, mainly because you're trying to take care of other areas of your life but if you have had delays you've been putting something off now is the time to stop procrastinating with this seven of cups energy uh, like your card is saying stop procrastinating and over analyzing a situation whatever you're trying to go after here um spirit is saying you are manifesting those dreams right now i just saw 11 11 11 11 before i started your reading here pisces okay so it's definitely letting me know that there is spiritual guidance here um for you um and that you guys are, are are also in this state of manifesting your lot your life here so get clarity on what you desire and then move forward here definitely balance is needed so trying to do too many things at once can really hinder you but keep that in mind as well let's we'll see what other messages are here for you what message do you have here for pisces mid-february going into mid-march so pisces you have the animal guardian coming in here trust your instincts look at that owl over her head okay it's all about wisdom trust your instincts they're letting you know that you are wise here okay you also have the elder coming in as well you guys are breaking a lot of generational curses um, or challenges that your ancestors may have had here and they're wanting you to move beyond ancestral patterns maybe your ancestors had great ideas as well great ideas as well but uh they were um shot down for some reason or um they weren't able to move forward with their plans or there was a lot of procrastinating as well and this generational energy passes on to you uh you're supposed to be stopping something here that's what i'm feeling pisces with this card uh is saying okay and they've bestowed this um this sacred energy in you to overcome um generational curses here okay or ancestral patterns here 
So start to get moving. Stop procrastinating like the Seven of Cups is definitely letting you know. Let's see exactly what may be challenging for you here mid-February going into mid-March. What may uh, be creating delays or obstacles here in your life. That's quite a bit. That's quite a bit. We're going to go through that though, okay? And what is working for you here, Pisces? What's working for Pisces here, Spirit? Mid February going into mid March. Shoot. <laughs> okay. Kind of interesting energy coming in here. So you have the hero coming in. Don't forget about yourself here. Like you're trying to save people, but save yourself here. That's what I feel. You're balancing or trying to balance too much at once. Like I said, everybody else's business is their business, especially if they're grown. You got to let them take care of their own business here, okay? I feel like that is a message that some of you guys need, okay? The need to balance your life right now is here. Uh, working too hard or doing too many things at once may be hindering you. It could have hindered you in the past here as well. That's why you couldn't move on to something that you truly wanted. Um, the success that you wanted to have, okay? Or obtaining the things that you truly wanted in your life. We're going to use uh, read the shadow attributes here. So uh, a challenge for you here, Pisces, is being an <laughs> escapist. <laughs> Escapism. And the false sense of heroism is here, okay? Don't be an escapist. I know I can do that myself, so I'm not bashing you. You guys have a warrior that is coming in here. Shadow Attribute says, Trading ethical principles for victory at any cost. Indifference to the suffering uh, inflicted on others here. This could be your energy or it could be someone else's energy doing this as well. Um, like I said, you could be helping someone here. Uh, someone that it could have been a past lover here for some of you guys with this justice card. You could have gone through a divorce or a separation here. Walked out of a relationship. Um, and I'm saying this um, because you have the Eight of Cups as well. Could have been with a family member, a friend, or a lover, romantic partner here. But I see some type of separation here. Here with this Justice card, I definitely feel like some karma has been repaid from a previous life here. So you're free to move on. Um, and I, I feel like you guys know this already. Instinctively, you, you know this. You're very wise here, Pisces. So you know that maybe it is time for you to move on from a situation or a person that you have the and differences with um, or that you have been suffering uh, with because you've been carrying this person or trying to help this person or extend yourself to this person or this situation here. You also have the scribe that is coming in. The shadow attribute says altering facts or plagiarizing others work shit. <laughs> okay. That is something else that is coming in for you guys. So make sure whatever you're doing is your own. Or if you are using someone else's ideas here or someone is using your ideas, make sure you are getting credit for it and vice versa. If you're using someone else's ideas, make sure that you give credit or you are uh, tweaking it up to make it your own here. So it's not plagiarism here, okay? Or plagiarizing others' works work. You have mother that is showing up for you. The shadow attribute says smothering or abandoning children um, and stealing guilt in children for becoming independent here. Okay, some of you guys, this may be a challenge for you. You may have this in your life. This may be your mother or your, um, you may be uh, doing this, like I said, with your own children especially if they're adults here okay you could be smothering them or not allowing them to learn the lessons even if they may be hard you're not allowing them to learn the lessons and become independent because you keep saving them so boom there it is let them learn the lesson here okay you may have also a lover here that you have to mother Shh. don't do that okay some lover that you may have had to walk away from or you should have walked away from and that walk away is long overdue Pisces here okay so you what's working for you you have addict coming in that's why I said it kind of feels kind of sw switched up a little bit here these sides so you have the addict coming in here 
um, light attributes that helps you uh, recognize and confront addictive behaviors here. Seven of Cups here, okay? Could also mean addictions here and you needing to change some addictive behavior. This could be smoking. This could be anything, okay? That you are, uh, you have this addictive mindset or addictive behavior towards here, okay? Uh, what I'm feeling here, what's working for you, is that your spirit guides um, may be helping you recognize and confront this addictive behavior. You may have lessons here as well that keep coming up here uh, for you to address. Hopefully, you got the picture here to address them and continue to move forward or work through those addictive. Uh, addictions here okay <laughs> exorcist here it's interesting how these cards are coming out Pisces what's working for you freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses here that's working for you so you do have the power to overcome um, this uh, addictive behavior here or to confront it here okay like it doesn't have to always be about drugs it can be about you constantly extending yourself and helping someone that can be an addiction for you to be that hero okay to be that hero um but that could be working against you because you're delaying your own life okay so what's working for you you have gossip <laughs> that's coming again awakenings uh, we're going to read the light attribute with this gossip card. Awakens uh, consideration for the feelings of others, honoring trust here. Okay, so others may trust you. They don't see you as this gossipy type of person. They see you as being upright and um, being very honest here. Okay. Because you're considerate. I'm just reading your card here again. Okay. Yeah, definitely they see you as someone that uh, they can trust with secrets, if you can see this card. Like they tell you something, and you keep that secret. <clears throat> you help them overcome challenges as well, okay? And you help them free themselves from uh, destructive, uh, addictive behavior or impulses here. That is what is working for you. That you may have people gravitating towards you that trust you in a very serious way here. So that is a major plus for you guys to have that type of trust from others here. Pisces. See that as a gift here. Let's take a look and see what is happening in the near future. What's happening in the near future for Pisces? One card here for Pisces. February 15th, March 15th. Woo! Goodness. Okay, Pisces. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted another card. I said one, but I had to get out two because that is not enough explanation. I don't accept that. Okay. Uh, you have the Nine of Swords coming in here. Okay. Sleepless nights unfounded fears expecting the worst thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies here you may have been doing this in the past okay especially with this 12 12 car saying you are manifesting your dreams by the power of thoughts i definitely was not going to leave you with just this one card because i definitely want you to change this energy and depending on the next card that i saw it was going to let me know whether that energy was changing and it is okay allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation and whether or not you guys were refocusing your thoughts and I feel like you are I told you the wheel is rolling okay let's get the ball rolling and you are getting it rolling so this is what the near future looks like a fresh new start the end of delays here Pisces sudden or unexpected progress um, it is due to you changing your mindset here making a choice not to allow people places and things to create obstacles and roadblocks in your life you not procrastinating on what you are uh, setting your mind to do whatever your desires are you're moving forward with those things and you're being blessed here spirit is saying a very positive change in your life luck is on your side your spirit team is surrounding you here um, and there is going to be a very positive change in your life here okay very sudden like you shit may pick up very very quickly for you guys okay you're not going to 
expect um, the amount of blessings here uh, that's coming towards you. So congratulations. Send gratitude right now before these things even happen for you. But I know that you are aligning yourself to success here, okay? Definitely. And you need to do this in order to uh, move forward here, okay? They're calling me back to this 1981 angel number here. They're talking about the next steps to take along your life path here. You need to pay attention to your repetitive thoughts and ideas as they are revealing, revealing the answers to your prayers. So pay attention to those dreams here, Pisces. That's something else that I'm feeling from the Seven of Cups as well. Like a spiritual guidance or divine uh, guidance is here for you in forms of dreams. So pay attention to that energy here with the Seven of Cups. Okay, that is your message here. That's your reading, Pisces. I love you guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you resonated with this reading. If you got a message from this reading here, Pisces, give this video a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload for you guys again. And subscribe to the channel so you... um. So you can help me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Take care, loves. Bye.